If you've been thinking about moving to Vancouver, stop what you're doing right now. Watch this video because I'm going to tell you about the top five reasons not to move to Vancouver. And we're getting into it right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. This video is all about the top five reasons not to move to Vancouver, and you're not going to want to miss it. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell as well, so you can be notified the moment I have a new video out. Let's kick things off with reason number five. The natural beauty. If you have an aversion to the sight of nature's natural beauty, then do not move to Vancouver. This includes stunning mountains, oceans, and forests. This city is constantly beckoning one to go outside. It is exhausting and confusing. I mean, there's an ocean and a forest right in the city. And you can also be on Grouse Mountain skiing or snowboarding in the morning, and within 30 minutes of coming off the hill, be down at the beach. That is confusing to a lot of people. The natural beauty is, of course, why many people choose to live here and visit this city. And you don't have to go far to soak it up. We have oceans, mountains, rivers, and streams, and we love to play in them all. Yep, Vancouverites love the outdoors, no matter what the weather. Sure, we get our share of rain here in the city, but that doesn't stop us. And when the sun is shining in Vancouver, it is stunning. We even do yoga in weird places, like bridges and parks. If you don't like to walk, pedal, or paddle, you probably won't fit in here. And if you do choose to live here, you'll probably find yourself eventually shopping at Lululemon and getting a membership at Mountain Equipment Co-op. Now don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Reason number four, traffic. Yes, we have our share of crappy traffic here in Vancouver, but it is not nearly as bad as Toronto or Seattle. Nonetheless, traffic can be a pain in the butt if you're commuting more than 30 minutes a day to and from work. The good news is Vancouver has a terrific transit system. So there are numerous SkyTrain lines, as well as the West Coast Express, C-Bus, Express Buses, and the regular bus service. This will allow you to throw on your favorite podcast and chill while someone else does the driving. Many people also choose to bike around the city as we have over 450 kilometers of bike lanes around Vancouver. So if you really hate traffic, you may want to consider Winnipeg, Saskatoon, or even Fredericton. Reason number three. Arts and culture. BC boasts 98,000 people who work in the arts. That is the highest number of artists per capita in the country. That's according to the most recent Statistics Canada survey, which is from 2016. I'm sure if Stats Canada updated that survey, pre-COVID conditions of course, that number would be much higher. And most of those artists are concentrated right here in Vancouver. My good friend Gail Johnson sums it up perfectly. Arts and culture are what people turn to when they need comfort, inspiration, and connection. And nothing has highlighted that fact more than the current COVID-19 pandemic we all find ourselves in. Gail is one of the co-founders of a new online publication and Vancouver's definitive source of independent arts journalism called STIR. STIR is dedicated exclusively to local arts and culture and covers the region's creative scene while proudly keeping independent journalism alive. So if you do choose to live here, before you know it, You'll be picnicking at the Cherry Blossom Festival while sharing your favorite Shakespeare quotes from the Bard on the Beach play you just saw. So if you hate arts and culture and you don't want to see movie stars or celebrity local actors while you're out and about in the city, then don't move to Vancouver. Reason number two, the rain. News flash, it rains in Vancouver. If you suffer from ombrophobia, do not move to Vancouver. In fact, if you suffer from aquaphobia as well, you won't like Vancouver because we are right on the ocean and have many lakes, rivers, and streams as well. Aquaphobia is often confused with hydrophobia, which is an aversion to water that develops in humans during the later stages of rabies. So if you're in the later stages of rabies, we don't want you in Vancouver. Getting back to the rain, Vancouver is a coastal temperate rainforest and rainforests tend to get some rain. So if you don't like rain or you're made of sugar, stay away from Vancouver. And the number one reason not to move to Vancouver, housing prices. It is expensive to buy a home here in Vancouver. Land prices alone are significantly higher than most other Canadian cities, 
with the exception of Toronto. If you want dirt cheap housing prices, you'll need to find another city to live in. The reason so many people currently live in Vancouver and continually choose to move here from elsewhere is the fact that we have some of the most beautiful homes situated in amazing locations. People want to live here, there's no doubt about that. And if you choose to live here, you better know going in, housing is expensive. Hey, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video and you want to know more about Vancouver neighborhoods, I have filmed over 40 neighborhoods here in Metro Vancouver and you can find them right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here because on this channel, you're going to find everything you need to live, love and own in Vancouver. So don't forget to subscribe.